You know, I was giving thought to what you said to me the other day, and though I can never look like you, I figure a few improvements couldn't hurt, right? Oh, I think you've made the right decision. Good luck. Well, I was hoping you could steer me in the right direction. Someone who's cheap and doesn't need a permission slip. Oh, come on. I mean, I know I'm plain, but I'm not stupid. Somebody's going to be giving you guys a volume discount or something. Fine. I'll hook you up. But it's still going to cost you cash and up front. How much? Three grand. I don't think I have that kind of money. Got any rich relatives? Uncle? Your uncle, Harper? Would you prefer daddy? We are talking about my car here. If I give you the green light to set things in motion, will you please just go away? For a while. Good girl. Their spare set, they won't be missed. My Uncle Terrence. Terrence? Yeah, I know. Well, he works out religiously every morning. His car will be parked in the street by Gold's from 5 to 7. Will you excuse me? I'm gonna go make somebody's head explode. Oh, what's the matter, sweetheart? Face is much too perfect to power. Well, you wanna talk about it? The guys stare at me. Absolutely not. If anything, you're just doing us a favor by letting us look at you. It inspires us. Yeah, to violence. Did Mark hurt you? Look, it's still red, and it stinks. With my luck, it'll turn blue, and it'll be so ugly. I think that you should probably stay away from Mark. If he lays a hand on you, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You don't have to rescue me, Russ. Just don't stop being good to me right now, okay? Okay. Uh, 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 we, we shouldn't do this. Give me one good reason. Hey, because you're on the rebound? First of all, I'm not on the rebound. I'm finally thinking straight. And second of all, my two reasons beat your one. Just, just stop, please. I said stop. Please. You have no idea what you just missed. Well, well, the other shoe drops. What kind of guy in his right mind would turn a girl like you down? Somebody who couldn't afford to get into trouble. Like a cop. Are you sure there isn't any other way? Do the words accessory and co-conspirator mean anything to you? I'll tell you guys one thing. I'm sure as hell not gonna spend my cut on some chicks like you guys do. What the hell are you talking about? Those two uh, high-maintenance gals that you two are so whipped on? No offense, but it's not your personalities that they're interested in. It's perfect, because in case you hadn't noticed, ain't exactly theirs we're interested in either. Touche, amigo. Hey, let me ask you a question. What kind of cut you give them for getting you the key? Who said they get one? Ranger did say between 5.30 and 6, right? Yeah, and it's 6.15. Guess they're... Running late, I thought timing was crucial. Relax, we'll pick up the tickets my uncle left for me, then we're out of here. Oh. Well, all of us except for you, that is, officer. You really should have taken what we offered you. You the scum with the scalpel? Where'd you get your degree, Libya? 
Harvard, you dip. Get him up. <clears throat> well, Danny must have donated a library. It's only a moron wouldn't realize how unhealthy it is to kidnap and assault a police officer. Oh, no, on the contrary. You see, you're here to get your nose fixed. <clears throat> now, I haven't even had my coffee. Look, you want someone who does it by the book? Why don't we just get your mother's permission, too? What did your parents say when you came home different? <laughs> well, the only changes dear old dad notices are on NASDAQ. And after my mother told him, he didn't speak to me for weeks, which, considering how much he spoke to me before, wasn't even noticeable. And your mom? After initially having a cow, uh, <laughs> she ran out and got Christy Turlington's nose, Michelle Pfeiffer's lips, and Demi Moore's breasts. Plus, they sandblasted the last 20 years off her face, so now she basically looks like my older sister. You want in? You either turn into a swan now, or I'm out of here. You can swim with the other ducklings. I have an image to maintain. We're gonna have to assume the worst. 6.30 up. They ain't coming. Meaning we may have set Granger and Harper straight into a trap. We need to get a hold of Corey. I apologize, but during normal business hours, I'm usually at Cedars doing normal business. <laughs> Which is? Most celebrities, models, housewives. So I can only do my goodwill work during off hours. Goodwill towards what, your Swiss bank account? <laughs> Clever mind, too. Well, when I'm through with you, you'll be a double threat. Monica, Barry's giving us Tiffany quality at Kmart prices. Look, I don't mean to be skeptical or anything, but what if something goes wrong or I need follow-up care. Are you going to pretend you don't know me if I have to come back here or like... I've got too much at risk not to take care of any problem. <sighs> Look, if you guys are smart enough to know that we're cops, you ought to know backup's on the way. You know what I do for a living? Murder, among other things. I read faces. And right now, yours is the only one around here that looks worried. lied to me, to all of us, because Kelly was murdered. I told you, I, I don't know anything. Ashley, you're not in trouble here, but we do need you to tell us the truth. Why should I believe you? Ashley, we don't have time. Don't you want us to get the guy who killed your best friend? Look, we have two officers whose lives are in danger right now. That's right, and if you don't tell us where the doctor's office is and they die, you're going to find yourself going into a beautiful woman behind bars. I do hope you're not afraid of needles. Now I understand you. Why? Right. What are you talking about? No big needle, small. <sighs> By the time I get done with you, no one will recognize you. Police! You okay? I'm good. Go. I got you two. Go. Go. Brockwood, you're under arrest for the murder of Kelly Taylor. Better get comfortable in that position there, Doc. I got a feeling that you're gonna be using it a lot. Yeah, the good news is in prison no one will care about the size of your needle since you won't be giving the injections. Kelly's mom asked me to give you this. Said that it was too painful to see you just yet. You remind her so much of Kelly. Thank you. No, thank you for helping us. I'm just sorry I didn't do something sooner. 
Give yourself a break, Ashley. You know, sometimes when you see enough of something that's wrong, it begins to seem right. Especially when all of your friends are doing it. And when you're getting pressure from the guy you love. Were you this lame when you were my age? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> no matter how old you are, when it comes to love, it's really easy to get confused. You forget to be true to yourself. She was so pretty. Yeah, she was.